We all know that big investors are willing to do just about anything in the name of profit. And of course, with skyrocketing interest rates still fresh in our minds, we know how the Fed's actions can affect the housing market. With the U.S. housing market beginning to slip into deflation mode, and with all these powers in the hands of the wealthy few, are the banks, realtors, and investors trying to cover up the housing crash completely? There has been much debate over whether banks, realtors, and investors are trying to hide the housing market crash. On one hand, it's understandable that these parties would have an incentive to downplay or hide any potential housing market crash, as it could have serious negative consequences for their businesses and financial interests. On the other hand, there are also legitimate reasons to believe that the housing market crash may not be imminent or that any potential crash may not be as severe as some are predicting. However, the truth is more complicated than that. Real quick, please take a moment to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support and you're helping our channel grow to other viewers just like you. First, it's important to define what is meant by a housing market crash. Typically, this term is used to describe a significant decline in the value of homes, often accompanied by a high level of foreclosures. This can have severe consequences for homeowners, who may see the value of their biggest asset plummet. It also impacts the economy in general, as the housing market is often seen as the bellwether for overall economic health. One argument against the idea that the banks, realtors, and investors are hiding a housing market crash is that the housing market has generally been performing well in recent years. In the United States, for example, the housing market has been experiencing strong growth for much of the past decade, with rising home prices, low mortgage rates, and strong demand from buyers. While there have been some signs of slowing growth in certain markets, such as high-priced coastal cities, overall, the market has remained healthy. With that in mind, let's examine the role of banks, realtors, and investors in the housing market. Banks play a crucial role in the housing market as they provide the financing for home purchases through mortgages. When the housing market is healthy, banks are able to make a profit by lending money to buyers and collecting interest on those loans. However, during a housing market crash, the value of homes may decline so significantly that banks risk losing money on their loans. In order to minimize these losses, banks may tighten their lending standards, making it more difficult for people to get mortgages. This can further exacerbate the decline in the housing market as fewer people are able to buy homes. Realtors, on the other hand, make money by facilitating the sale of homes. During a housing market crash, Realtors may have a harder time finding buyers for homes, as people are less likely to want to purchase an asset that is rapidly losing value. In order to keep their businesses afloat, Realtors may try to downplay the severity of the housing market crash and continue to list homes at prices that are not reflective of their true value. This can give the impression that the housing market is not as bad as it actually is, leading some people to believe that the crash is being hidden. Investors also play a role in the housing market, as they may buy and sell homes as a way to make a profit. During a housing market crash, investors may try to hold on to their properties in the hope that the market will recover, rather than sell at a loss. This can also contribute to the perception that the crash is being hidden, as there may be fewer homes being put up for sale. It's worth noting, however, that it is not necessarily in the interest of banks, realtors, or investors to hide the housing market crash. In the case of banks, a decline in the housing market can lead to significant losses, and it's in their best interest to be transparent about the state of the market. Realtors and investors may also have an incentive to be transparent, as a housing market crash can lead to a decline in consumer confidence, which can further harm their businesses. But we cannot deny the fact that this financial trinity is continually profiting from such an asset leading to an unsustainable real estate market with houses being bought and sold for more than their actual value. The evidence is not definitive one way or another. However, it is clear that banks, realtors, and investors all have a vested interest in minimizing the housing market crash to keep people buying and selling. It's possible 
that they're taking steps right now to prevent the public from becoming aware of the potential financial risks of real estate investments. Regardless, both savvy and unsuspecting consumers alike can benefit from being cautious when buying and selling in the current housing market. We want to hear what you think as well, so please give us your thoughts in the comments below. If you like the video, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new videos. I'll see you in the next one.